Hello friends, Namaste. Welcome to the class on engineering drawing. So today we are going to solve the second variety of problems on in projections of lines. What is the second variety of problem? Here the line is parallel to VP and perpendicular to the HP. See here the line is AB. I am considering the line which is parallel to the VP and it is perpendicular to the HP. So now how to represent this on the paper of sheet. So let us consider a problem which has been given here. A line AB having length how much 40 mm is parallel to VP and perpendicular to the HP. Okay. Line is so this is the second variety of problem. Line is 20 mm in front of VP and a point B is 10 mm above HP. Draw its projection. So they are telling that this is parallel to VP. So the distance between this VP and the line is how much? It is 20 mm. And this point B is 10 mm above the HP. So this is at a distance of how much? 10 mm above HP. So now I need to draw the front view as well as top view. Okay. So front view means what? The observer will be looking from the front side. So I am going to get the front view on where? Vertical plane. So I am going to draw the projection. And here also I am going to draw the projection. I am going to locate B dash. So this one is a B dash. And this one is A dash. So I am going to join this. So this is the front view. See here how much will be the distance of A dash to B dash. It is also 40 mm. Why it is 40 mm? So the true length of the line is 40 mm. Since this line is parallel to the vertical plane. In the front view I am going to get the true length. True length in front view. Suppose now I need to draw the top view. So the observer will be looking from top side. So when I draw the projection, this A and B is in a same line. When I draw the projection, so I am going to get the top view on which plane? Horizontal plane just as a point because A and B are collinear in the same way. So here the observer can see A and he can't able to see B. So that's why I am going to mention is this A in bracket b in bracket b why even though b it is there it is not visible to the observer hence it is located inside the bracket okay so now how to represent this on a paper i am going to rotate the horizontal plane in a clockwise direction by 90 degree so then i am going to get the front view above the xy line and top view it will be below the xy line so let me show you how to draw this. First I am going to draw a XY line. XY line. So this one is vertical plane. And this one is horizontal plane. This point B is 10 mm above HP. So therefore I am going to take a dimension of how much? 10 mm from the xy line so just i am going to draw a reference line okay so this is 10 mm above hp i am going to locate end point b and i am going to draw a line of how much 40 mm so as i told i am going to get the true length in front view so this will be B dash and this will be A dash. So what is the dimension of it? So this line of dimension is how much? Of 40. Okay. Now I need to mention the top view. So line is 20 mm in front of VP. So therefore from the XY line I am going to measure a distance of how much 20 then i am going to draw a reference line this is a reference plane 
so now i am going to draw the projection from front view until it touches the reference line so as i told this will be looks like a point so this is a top view so when the observer is looking from the top a is visible but b is not visible hence this will be represented as a and in bracket it will be represented as b so what is the distance from the x y line to this that is 20 mm in front of vp so this is a front view and this one is top view okay so this is how we are going to solve the problem when the line is parallel to the vertical plane and perpendicular to the hp so here i am going to get the true length in the front view since this line is parallel to vp and in the top view it will be seen just as a point and so this is represented as like this a in bracket on b because b is invisible whereas a is nearer to the observer i hope you understood thank you namaste